Hi folks, welcome. This is the quest Impossible Demands, part of the first chain in Evening Star. I'm gonna get buffed up before we start. For the first few encounters, you just need to kill the slavers. When they're dead, uh, you'll be able to free the slaves that are normally fighting you. You can use a check uh, of a skill that you have that you have high enough. I don't normally free all of them, really. Uh, it's a time sink, but I tend to get the first two. Uh, like, I think the first one just requires one free slave, and the second optional requires five. Which is not that much, you can get most of them just from this first uh, fight. There's a secret door here. It leads to a trapped passageway that lets you skip some stuff, but we're not going to use that. You'll notice that I only uh, leave one last slave to be freed. That's because I'll be freeing a wizard, which later, which uh, is a separate optional, but also counts towards the uh, free more slaves optionals. So I don't need to uh, free anything else right now. I can just uh, do that with the wizard, and it'll give me the XP for both his optional and this one. I'll just use a pale lavender here to get through all these uh, spell wards. You need to pull gate control 1 and gate control 3, but not 2. This is the wizard optional, we just need to find the slaver and just kill him and not the wizard. Here we go. Pull all the levers over here. This will open the way forward. I'll use my uh, Pale Lavender again. There's uh, Spell Wards here that do evil damage, which means they'll always hit you. Unless you're worried about uh, getting all the uh, slaves freed, you can just uh, kill everything in this room. Except for Anna, of course.
If you however want to keep the slaves alive, um, you just need to kill this guy, or this. As soon as he dies, they will be... Uh, they will not uh, try to attack you anymore. Now the spell wards that we ran past earlier are gone now, so you don't have to worry about traps. If your spot scale is high enough, you'll be able to notice the outlines of uh, characters that are sneaking. Hitting them or damaging them uh, reveals them as well. They can go back into sneak though, so uh, keep an eye out. This gives us the perception bonus to finding out, uh, finding two secret doors gives us the perception bonus which is 10% of the base xp it's brave of you to stay so close this magic could miss by it might kill you the drought is ever so close do you think no one saw that don't forget to keep an eye on uh, anna she will sometimes get attacked in the back A bunch of uh, bear traps here. I just like to jump over them. As you can see, they're right in front of the chest, so uh, jumping over really takes care of things. You don't need to disable them. Turin thought we might find the thread of the weave here. Whatever it is, all we found were more drow. If it were here, they'd have found it in lead. coming up on the end fight here. Uh, it can be a little buggy so uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't instantly kill the first wave of mobs just give them a few seconds. I've had cases where I instantly killed the uh, whole first wave and then the uh, quest would get, would get stuck at that point and I will not get the waves the you know, the second, third wave, whatever. So you just wanna give these guys a moment here. Make sure you don't kill them all at the same time. When you see the um, colored villagers appear, that's when you know that you can keep going. Killing the archers here will um, spawn the boss, or actually drop uh, the barrier that he's hiding behind. If you're a ranged character, there's a safe spot up here, or if you're doing epic elite, for example, don't want to get hit too much, you can get up here and just range him.
Make sure you have your voice when he's close to dying. And that's it. Grab your loot, recall out. Thank you for watching.